We've been showing you all the different ways that the color pink affects your health. And we have a guest with a question that's perfect for this topic, right, Veronica? Yes. So what is your question? <laughs> My question to you doctors, because I'm a big fan of the show, is I have pink around my eyelids and underneath little, as you can see. Mm -hmm. I've only had it for about two years. I've never had anything like this before. I'm dying and, to know what it is. And do you have a little bit of makeup on now? Yeah, but. So it's, a little, so it's even more pink than we're seeing. You know, a couple things you need to know, and you chime in. I'm gonna try to answer these questions for Veronica, but the eyelid skin, the thinnest skin of the body, that means that it's really susceptible to allergies, any swelling in the body. That may be the first place that you see it. If you have allergies, irritants, if you're rubbing your eyes, all of those things may turn, may turn the skin around your eyes pink. But I have a couple questions to try to okay. figure out what's going on with you. About two years, you said? Yes. Does it come and go? It gets worse by the end of the day. Funny, when I wake up in the morning and by the end of the day, yeah. And it does come and go. Is there anything that you're putting on your face that makes it worse? Yes, makeup makes it worse. I keep buying mascaras, throwing it away, buying, throwing. And you try different makeups, but all of them leave you with a little bit of pinkness? All of them. All right, so that sort of, if it's all of them, may not be allergies. So you know what I think she has? Recurrent pink, just the eyelids. I think she has what's called blepharochalasis, which actually is a pretty rare condition. It's just recurrent bouts of swelling around the eyelids. It stretches out the eyelids and leaves them with that, that pink hue. And the treatment is probably gonna be twofold because you've stretched your skin out. We're gonna wanna tighten your skin doing eyelid surgery and also do a little bit of laser resurfacing on your lower lids to get that pink staining out of there. Oh. So blepharoclasis, because you've been stretched out like that, tightening the skin and Getting you can the start with, you can you can try the laser and mm -hmm. start with that because mm -hmm. I could tell you we're a little taken aback by it. this is <laughs> yeah, a surgeon can, here he's a plastic surgeon see, he, he throws that out of yeah no big no, deal but I mean blepharoclasis but, is a true condition that, right. that is stretching out the skin of the eyelids I mean you don't have a severe severe case of it try to eliminate certain things salt makeup things like that if that doesn't work then maybe a little laser treatment. Okay. Any recommendations for women who have issues with this recurrent irritation around their eyes as far as makeup? Because obviously it's such a common area. I've only learned in the last number of years, uh, putting makeup in this area, which yes, we have it on, it's really irritating. You've got, you've, it is irritating. May, obviously don't get it in your eyes. You have to experiment. And unfortunately, not all makeups list all of the ingredients. You may actually have to call the manufacturers to find out what's in it and go for hy hypo allergenic So makeups. maybe more natural ingredients. And one of the things mm -hmm. about this show that's interesting is when we think of skin conditions in the color pink, you do, you think more of irritation, right? Right. As things get to be more red, for instance, around the eye, if you have acute redness, your eye feels hot and there's any bulging in that eyeball, that's a more acute, likely even infectious process that can be certainly at times more serious. So if you start to see that redness, that's something you probably want to go right. get checked out immediately with your doctor. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you.